Hi, I'm Ram Gopal from PresentationProcess.com. In this video, you will learn how to create pop-out picture effect in PowerPoint 2013. We start with this picture and we end in this beautiful pop-out picture effect. Let me show you how easy it is to create this popular picture effect. So here I am on a new slide and we have this picture. The first thing I'm going to do is to make a duplicate of this picture. So I have selected the picture and I'm going to press Ctrl D. Ctrl D is the shortcut for duplicate. So I'm going to keep the duplicate picture here. The next step is to go to the Format tab in PowerPoint ribbon. Go to the Remove Background option. As soon as I hit on Remove Background option, this is what happens. You can see that all these pink areas are considered as background by PowerPoint and therefore will be removed from the picture. And the ones that are left out are the ones that are going to be retained on the slide. So I'm going to make some adjustments to make sure that I only retain the picture of this girl. So I'm going to widen this bounding box. So as you can see here, we have a bounding box which is much smaller than the actual picture size. So we are going to do a bit of repositioning. So I'm going to click on this uh, rectangle here and I'm going to move it slightly up. And I'm going to move this to the right. So it includes all the fingers as well of the picture. And the rest is pretty much okay. Now you can see that a part of the picture is still considered as background by PowerPoint. So we are going to reclaim these uh, areas here of the head. So if you go here, you will see that there are options here, which are like mark areas to keep, mark areas to remove, etc. I'm going to pick this mark areas to keep option. I'm going to click on it. And as soon as I did that, you can see that my cursor has converted itself into a crayon like uh, shape. I'm going to click and drag the crayon in the area that I want to reclaim. And as soon as I did that, you can see that that portion is now reclaimed. And I'm going to do a small adjustment here to that side as well. Yeah, that is also reclaimed. Now the picture is beautifully isolated from its background. And I'm going to click outside. And now I have this beautifully isolated picture. The next step is to crop the original picture. So I'm going to select the picture here. Go to the Format tab in PowerPoint ribbon. Go to the Crop option. So click on the Crop tool and then crop till the legs here. So that is the extent to which I'm going to crop it and I'm going to click outside. Now, if I were to keep this right below the earlier picture, see what happens. You can see that it almost feels like this picture is popping out of this picture here. Now there is one final thing that is required to be done to make this effect look even more realistic. And that is to crop this to a trapezoid shape. So I'm going to select the rectangle, go to the crop option, click on the small arrow underneath the crop icon and go to crop to shape option. And under basic shapes, you will find the option called trapezoid, click on it. And now you can see that we have a far more realistic shape to this base, which makes this particular picture pop out of the surface. You can always click on this yellow square here and adjust the angle to suit your requirement. And once it is done, this trapezoid shape now looks like the base from which this girl is jumping out. Isn't this a simple effect to create? Try it with any of the pictures you have and see how it turns out. I hope you really liked the tutorial you saw in this video. If you did, then you will really love our 25 Creative Ideas email course. You will get daily email lessons for five days with tips and techniques in PowerPoint you can implement readily. You will be able to access videos, downloads and examples to learn easily and thoroughly. So click on this red button here and start your free course now and I'll see you inside the email course.